I'm Tate Sanders. And I'm Riley Ledford. And welcome to the Laurel County Insider. This is a bi-weekly ran student newscast that covers the who's, what's, when's, where's, and how's of our school system. Now let's go to our top story, the governor-elect of Kentucky, Andy Bashir. Early this November was the Kentucky general election. The state is still buzzing after the historic gubernatorial race. Incumbent Matt Bevin got edged out by current Attorney General Andy Bashir by only 5,000 votes difference of the 1.4 million votes cast. This is one of the closest elections in Kentucky's history. The last Democratic governor that Kentucky has elected was Andy Bashir's father, Steve Bashir. Matt Bevin has conceded the race after a re-canvass that took place last Thursday, changing only a single vote in the results. Another race that was closely watched was the Attorney General's race between Greg Stumbo and the recently elected Daniel Cameron, as Andy Bashir has played a contrasting role to Bevin for the last four years as Kentucky's current Attorney General. Governor-elect Andy Bashir is set to take office in the Governor's Mansion December 10th. This past week, South Laurel High School put on the production of Freaky Friday. So we sent some of our top workers to cover all of the excitement. November 12th through the 16th, South Laurel High School put on the production of Freaky Friday. This is a play full of adventure, conflict, and comedy as it tells the story of a young teenage girl and her mother living a day in the other person's body. Before one of their final performances, we were blessed enough to get an interview with one of the main actors of this production. Hi, I'm Riley Ledford. I play Adam in the musical of Freaky Friday. Uh, it's awesome. I love every single moment of it. I love the cast. They're just like my brothers and sisters. Honestly, pretty much my family away from my family, if that can make any sense at all. Um, being on stage, I just it makes me excited. I'm not really a sports guy. I don't play basketball or anything like that. But I just love doing this, and I have for years. Uh, I've done it since seventh grade, and it's just an honor to come back each time and play someone different and just try and embark upon a character that not a lot of people can know about, and you learn about him, and then, like, you slowly start seeing that, like, you and that character relate together. Uh, throughout the play, a lot of people notice, they're like, that looks so much like something you would do or something you would... This is my actual... I wear this to school. I, this is nothing away from contrary, but I'm just, I'm thankful for every moment with it. They had a lot of fun doing this musical, and they are more than excited for the spring musical. I heard that some rumors are going to be Camp Rock. I'm pretty excited for that. In some more CFI news, the Health Science Department had a very exciting guest come down from above. On Monday, October 14th, the Center for Innovation Medical Science students awaited the medical helicopter landing and the arrival of other local emergency medical services. A medical flight crew toured the students around the helicopter, giving them an inside look on possible career choices. Students were also given the opportunity to learn more about the first responders, such as the firefighters, and potential options for the future. The Center for Innovation would like to thank the London Area EMT, as well as first responders, for their dedication to serve the community. And now, we check in on how students are preparing for higher education. On October 11th, the Laurel County Center for Innovation invited its students to partake in a college fair featuring many different colleges and universities around the state of Kentucky. A significant benefit of the College Partners Day is that students are able to talk with and network with college and career professionals so they learn the information necessary to make informed decisions. Some of the representatives include Eastern Kentucky University, Moorhead State University, Western Kentucky University, Somerset Community College, Union College, and even a FAFSA representative came in. You know, the classes that we offer will help uh, students get employed and make them employable and have them a lot better skills to come out into the workforce. Students had the opportunity to interview select members of the community to get some insight on post-graduation plans. The representatives even gave out free gifts as a bonus for talking with them, so it gave students an incentive to leave the charge for a brighter future. We're very excited to have all these partners here with us today so that our students are better prepared for their college and career goals. Making waves in the pursuit of a happier life, this is Sean Mounds from the Laurel County Insider. The NLHS class presidential elections took place this past week. There were six candidates, Matthew Clark, Dakota McGuire, Jesus Nunez, Drake Skelly, 
Rachel Fayer, and Seth Napier. After the primaries, only Dakota McClure, Drake Skelly, Rachel Fayer, and Seth Napier remained. The four debated last Friday, November 15th, and the elections were held last Monday, November 18th. Seth, Seth Napier was elected class president with Isabella Gray as his vice president. Hey gamers, let's look at all the new releases this month. Hello and welcome to the Gaming News, where we tell you about some of the new and upcoming games for some of the biggest platforms. First up, we have a new VR game and it is coming to PlayStation. It is called The Curious Tale of Stolen Pets. Enjoy an interactive experience and help your grandfather solve the mystery of missing pets while exploring miniature worlds crafted from the ground up. If you enjoy puzzles and a heartwarming story, then this game could be for you. You can now find it in stores as of November 14th. Next up, we have Valferis, a new 2D action platformer coming out for Xbox. Experience brutal combat, deadly enemies, stunning pixel art, and a savage soundtrack. Battle the ever-growing darkness as Theroen, a fearless and proud son of Valferis. You can now join the battle as of November 15th. Last but not least is the new Pokemon game, Pokemon Sword and Shield, and it is coming out for the Nintendo Switch. Customize your character by changing their outfit or changing their hair, and set out on an amazing adventure in the Galar region, and experience the natural beauty of the wild area. Test your luck and try to become the next champion of the Galar region. Explore the world of Galar now as of November 15th. These are just some of the great games that are coming out this month. Check back next time for more. Now back to you, Riley and Tate. Tate, since Thanksgiving has been on its way, I've been thinking about some of my favorite Thanksgiving desserts and foods. What is that, Riley? Pumpkin roll. So we sent some of our student news reporters to go out on the street and ask some viewers out there what the, their favorite Thanksgiving food might be. Let's go see what they thought. This concludes our newscast for the week. Thank you for watching, and make sure to tune in next January for some more Laurel County news. I'm Tate Sanders. And I'm Riley Lidford. And, and this, this is, is the Laurel County, County Insider. Insider.